Motion to open hearing. No, no, we actually can't do that now. Open open motion to open a meeting. Right. Okay. Is there a second? Second. Darlene. Second. Okay, bowling the members. Darlene. Yes. Dave Chanel. Yes. John Pearson. Vicky Janicki. Yes. Yes. And I'll vote yes. Okay, so we're open for business. There's there's a set of minutes here, which I suggest we tackle first. That was for the meeting from last month, though. It's we're not done yet, right? Uh, you don't want to do partial minutes before the hearing's over. Well, <laughs> probably, gonna, they're too big. I, they was they were so long. I was just going to basically start from scratch again. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> just, kidding. Just, just kidding, Beth. <laughs> no, you haven't had the opportunity. <laughs> um, I, mean, that's, I mean, the law has a lot of run-on paragraphs, and I think this one, this one was one big long paragraph. <laughs> yep. Yeah. <laughs> I, did, uh, I did go back into it and do some more editing. So the latest version in SharePoint, I had to add a couple names. Um, I rephrased a few sentences. Um, but yeah, I, I can go through it again if you'd rather, and then just work on this on the 12th. At the, yeah, I'll, at the... I'll, I'll look at it after the, I'll look at, and everybody can look at it. Um, okay. I might just, just from a, just from a uh, formatting perspective, I might throw a couple paragraphs in there as, you know, returns just to make it break yep. up the, break up the paragraphs to make it a little bit more, more, it's easier to read when you have different paragraphs yep. as opposed to one long one. Um, yeah. Okay. Great. Okay. So for now, we're going to just put this on hold. Okay, we'll defer it. Okay. Cool. What else do we have on our um, agenda here? Uh, I don't know of any additions or deleted deletions. Nope. Nope. And we just have the public hearing. All right. Yeah. Yep. Um, you know, uh, just so you guys, I'm sure you're all aware, to December 14th is the special town meeting. It is in person only. It's going to be broadcast on channel nine, you know, or uh, that's coming up. There are no zoning articles on it. Um, strictly, I think financial, isn't it? I don't know if you've had a chance to see the warrant. The warrant is posted on the main website, main page. I did um, not. Yep. I don't know if going on. <clears throat> I was trying to actually find the, the agenda, which, which, which um, folder is it in? Uh, under preliminaries and agenda. Uh, if you open the file. Maybe, maybe I'm one, two. Oh, Beth, no, I was actually one, two deep. Okay, I got it. Beth, do you have a time for that special town meeting? It's in the, the Great Hall, I, I, I believe, right? Yes, it is. Uh, let me just jump on and, and verify that. It's saying 7 p.m. 7 p.m. Oh, that's, that's traditional. Okay. Cool. Mm -hmm. And they're going to have two overflow rooms, the selectmen's chamber and room two downstairs. But uh, they've decided that room two is basically the semi quarantine room. If you go up, <laughs> well, they're, they're going to enforce social distancing in the Great Hall. Mm -hmm. And they're going to insist on masks. If you choose not to wear a mask, then you'll have to go down to room two to uh participate in the meeting that way hey yeah. you tell you tell me that they're going to try to they're going to maintain a six foot distance between all app all participants they're going to go by what the school part uh, does which is only a three foot limit but if it's a family unit like dave say you and your wife both showed up you'd be allowed to sit next to each other but three feet away from any anybody else but but if i don't want to sit next to her, i can go somewhere else <laughs> yeah, you can, okay. you can feel free to do whatever you'd like. Okay, just and all the so lepers. Our meeting all isn't the, exciting enough for Dave Chanel. Yeah, and, and all the lepers go downstairs to 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 the to, to B room. Yeah, room two meeting room. If oh, you man. don't want to wear a mask. Yeah, I mean, just so you're aware, our uh, infection rate is up at eleven percent. Yeah, it's, um, high, it's as high as it's been since about a year ago. Oh. Yeah, the county is at like two percent, which is where we should be, but. I don't know what the deal is in towns and whether it's um, non-vaccinated people or or um, what do they call it when you're vaccinated and you still get sick? Oh, breakthrough cases. Breakthrough. breakthrough, yes. Very good. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. And they don't know the exact uh, 
what's happening with this new Omicron variation. So they're not even sure if it's that that's spiking it or if it's just a prevalence of uh, the original variant. Yeah, well. And the point of the vaccine is to prevent serious illness, not to prevent the illness. They didn't expect it to always yeah. prevent the illness. So it's oh. to reduce the severity. So yeah, we may be getting break, you know, what they, we're calling breakthrough, but we're still getting less people in the hospitals who are vaccinated. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this may be a point of interest. I did notice Article 9 does deal with um, a, uh, the, gen the town's general bylaws. So it's not a zoning bylaw, but it is, uh, it has to do with general provisions um, entitled non-criminal disposition of violations. So this one is in reference to unregistered motor, motor vehicles. It was submitted by the building commissioner so if you want to review that, everything else seems to be financial in nature. Um, and does anybody know what the quorum is for this? 75 or? I think it's 75 town meeting, okay. special town meeting. Yeah. 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 It, was, it was reduced a few years ago. Yeah. yeah it and used I, to be 100, I was, right? I was on the board. I tried to get it down. Yeah, it was 100 for quite a while. Yeah. yeah. And Article 4, yeah. Article 4 is to see if the town will vote to reallocate 70,000 uh, for water department items, Greeley Road upgrade and Main Street at South Street upgrade. Yeah. But there's nothing on there's nothing on tap that's that's earth shattering like, like overrides or anything like that. It's just just regular nope. daily yeah, business. Just business. <laughs> <It's> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, Bill, Bill and Karen, just to let you know, we can't start. We're just small talking until quarter up because that's when the hearing is supposed to. <laughs> so we're not we're not just. Ignoring you. Right. <laughs> I don't even know who the lady with the mask is. So <laughs> here we That's are. Karen. I'm just kidding. Yeah. Here we are, all spouting off about our knowledge of COVID, and we've got an expert sitting here that can probably tell us much more than we uh, know already. I got my booster at McNabb's. It's a wonderful thing right. in town. Yeah, I did too. <laughs> yep. I took the, um, the uh, was it citizen planner training? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. uh, it was the intro to planning board and the zoning board yesterday. Um, so it was, yeah, I, I thought it was good. Good. Uh, okay. yeah, it, I was like, oh, yeah, that's why we do that. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Oh, good. So was that was that mostly uh, 40A or, or um, subdivision no, control? No. no, it was a it was a general overview, and then they have um, other modules that go into detail about um, okay forty uh, yeah. eight subdivision. Um, I think the one I'm interested in next is about how to write good decisions. Excellent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Why spoil the fun, Vicky? <laughs> yeah, I signed up for one of those seminars as well. I don't remember yeah. which one, but I think it was the one that uh, deals with. Uh, details of special permits versus variants. Mm. Okay. And that did go through, Beth, after I uh, wrote you that email, I got a notice that it went through. So. Nice. Oh, that's great. Mm -hmm. Beth, where did you find that agenda on the website? Uh, uh, the agenda for this meeting? No, the agenda for town meeting. Oh, town meeting. Um, it would. It's on the main page of the home page, rather, of the website. Oh. Harley, and under, can you do me a favor and share my, uh, let me share. I've got it up. I can post it for them to look at. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. We only got three minutes before we can start the yeah, hearing. Three minutes so. it may not be oh, worth it. No hurry. Okay. <laughs> well, apparently it's not going to happen. So never mind then. Okay. <laughs> Could have said that. I'm just uh, multitasking for a minute here. Looking at the unregistered motor vehicles. Well, we already have a, a town bylaw that says if you have more than three unregistered vehicles, you have to 
get a class a junk license or something like that uh, is that what they're messing around with yep okay another great american tradition everybody have a personal junkyard <laughs> small engine repair and personal junkyard <sighs> Hey, do you do? My dog is very interested in this meeting. <laughs> you know, some of us are mechanics. We might take offense to that. Oh, yeah? <laughs> All my vehicles are registered, though. <laughs> <laughs> no, listen, I used to have, uh, I had a few sobs in the woods. So, you know. Why am I not surprised you had sobs? <laughs> oh, they were great cars, jeez. Yeah, they were. We, we had a, in, a couple of them. I work in Mason, New Hampshire, and I don't know how many unregistered vehicles you're allowed to have, but every house looks like a junkyard. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think we're ready to go. Is there a, uh, it's 44, that's close enough. Um, is there a motion to open this hearing? So, so be it. Second. 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 Uh, okay, polling the members. Um, Darlene? Yes. Dave Chanel? Yes. Sean Pearson? Yes. Vicki Janicki? Yes. And I'll vote yes as well, Bill Cadigan. So we're open for business here. Um, the Jeremy, clerk will read the notice. Before you get started, I just wanted to... Um, make it publicly known. I've, I've had a working relationship, past working relationship with the McNabs and, and the contractor as well, but it's nothing related to this project or um, I don't have any, there's no relationship to this project and I don't have any bias. So, but I just wanted to state that. I, th I think we probably all have gotten our scripts from uh, McNabs from one time <laughs> or the other. So in that case, you'd have to go to Shirley to get the, get the permit. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's real estate related. It's not oh, okay. All right. Um, in accordance with MGL Chapter 48 in the, in the Town and Zoning Bylaws, the Town and Zoning Board of Appeals will hold a remote access virtual public hearing on Wednesday, December 8th, 2021 at 545 on the application of William G. Schultz for a special permit under zoning bylaws 145.18, 145.40, and 145.65. The proposals construct in addition to McNabb's pharmacy to be used as a com compounding lab within six inches of the side yard lot line on a west side of the pre-existing non-conforming lot of 233 Main Street, Assessor's Map 51 Block 97 Lot 0, DCD um, Zoning District. Public remote only access to the meeting is via the following website. I'm not going to read it. I'm not going to read that either. Um, Pilots wishing to speak in support of or in opposition to this application may do so in writing prior to the hearing or at the virtual hearing in person represented by an agent or attorney. Copies of this, of this application are available for review in the Office of the Town Clerk and Zoning Board of Appeals Office during business hours or by emailing a request for a digital copy to uh, bfax and at townsendmass.gov. William Cadigan, Chairman. Okay. Um, so there's a couple of, couple of things. Um, I just wanted to say in front here, um, the, um, um, the pre-existing non-conforming lot is not a big issue um, typically, um, but there's a distinction between residential lots and commercial lots. And uh, we recently had experience with uh, Mr. Ramadan's uh, uh, apartment building that burned down. And um, we did a, uh, basically a section six, well, it was a fire repair, but I think it was a section six um, uh, special permit for that. But because it was commercial, um, um, any, uh, any change to increase the nonconformity would, would require a variance. So I'm, hang on. Um, so I'm concerned about that. And Dave, you have the case, uh, you looked up the case uh, laws on that um, commercial thing requiring a variance, but 
if if that's in fact true, then uh, we don't we uh, the notice uh, does not include the variance. So we we'd have to re-advertise. Um, we'd have to continue the hearing and re-advertise to get the variance in because that's a more um, uh, egregious permit than a special permit. Um, so um, at, at the so moment we have, if a variance is required, then at the moment we have defective notice. That's all I'm saying. Well, do you remember the do name of the? You remember the name of the case that I that I and I sent that case out, you know, like a year ago, a month ago, but I don't remember the name of it. Yeah, I don't either. I can, I, and I, I don't. I'm not on the right computer to actually uh, search for that. I keep those downstairs. Okay. But um, I'm pretty sure that's the case. Um, the where, other. Uh, where do we Where do we know that from? The difference between residential and commercial businesses. From uh, Ramadan. Remember the guy's uh, apartment building burned down on Route 13. Yeah. Yeah. So. We gave them a special permit to reconstruct the building to current code, but it required variances uh, for building height because of the, the current code compared to the code in the 50s or 60s, whenever that previous structure was built. And I don't, I don't remember whether there were some setback issues. There might've been setback issues as well. I don't know, I can't remember. Well, 145-18 extensions and alterations doesn't doesn't dis make any any it doesn't distinguish one from another on that. No, it doesn't. But um, the um, the reason that we don't need a variance to increase the nonconformity on a residential uh, application is based on case law. It's another Cape Cod case. Uh, that basically turned that whole, it's, you know, it, it, it's about people tearing down little houses and building McMansions, which they tend to do on the Cape more than anywhere else in Massachusetts. But there's, you know, they do it in, uh, in uh, Weston and, you know, places like that. They tear down little houses and build McMansions. So the case law uh, said, hey, uh, you don't need a variance to increase the nonconformity. Uh, for residential. All right, so if I read A under 145-18, alteration, reconstruction, extension, or structural change to a non-conforming single or two-family residential structure where said change, there's a residential, where said change does not increase the non-conforming nature of said structure. Yeah, well, that's, that's what it says in 40A, but it doesn't... Yeah apply anymore because we can increase the nonconformity in a residential application. And that was the case that I sent over. I just, I'm trying to find, it. I just can't find it. I have too many of them on my- That's computer. exempted from the requirements of a special permit anyway. So I guess it's a moot point. Uh, the other, um, possible remedy that occurred to me was that you, you have you have two lots, at least two lots contiguous there. Um, if you redrew the lot line and got rid of the lot, the lot line between the two, then you would have no issue because you wouldn't have a side yard anymore. But of course that limits your ability to sell the structures separately in the future. Yeah. I mean, I, I looked at my I, myself. I looked at the the merger doctrine, where you have two continuously yeah. owned properties by the same entity, and it, it doesn't really apply in this direction. It applies on the out direction, and that's what you know, when I was talking to my real estate, my partner that does real estate, his suggestion was just reconvey the lots to to one one um, one lot, one big lot, and you do away with the need to do any of this. Uh, you, then you would just need a, a special permit for the front yard front yard setback. Yeah. Not the side yet, not six inches. But that's. I, I have a question. I know I'm beating a dead horse, but I think I know the answer to it. So a variance is something that is locked in with the property for basically forever. And a Correct. special permit is just like 
temporary or it it goes until the property gets sold is it is that the difference it actually uh, um that's that's changed too so <laughs> okay <laughs> so, ba so basically a spe you, you have you have bylaws that you have things to do as a matter of right you can do a bunch of stuff right if it says if you want to do something in, in, on your property and it says you can do it in the bylaw, you just go to the building building inspector and they and they grant whatever it is if you have a statute or bylaw that says you you have this but under special permit you can do this this and this then it's a special permit but if it's specifically excluded or not included in the list of things you can get by special permit then it's a variance and the variance is a higher is a much higher threshold and that has to go further up in the chain basically like by, well, by chain what do you mean but it's, it does, is it by, by the state can overlook that or it goes beyond the town Oh, no. no, no, it's 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 in the it's town, us. but the the um, the criteria for a variance are uh, are almost impossible to meet. <laughs> so yeah. so uh, many of them fail on appeal. So that's that's it's just that's just the nature of the beast. Um, I think Mr. Schultz has been trying to talk, but he doesn't seem to have sound. Oh yeah. Yeah, Bill, really? you don't have sound. You don't have sound. Yeah, got, he's got his hand up. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I can have him call my cell phone and talk yeah. over. <laughs> oh, wait, Bill, what you could do is you could actually call in on your cell phone, leave your video on, mute it, and then use use your cell phone to communicate audio. I I don't even read lips. <laughs> Bill, I'm at the pharmacy. If you want to come down and meet me here, so how does this compare to when we did the uh, addition to Anderson Funeral Home, and that was also the side setback issue? Was that because it was before this change in legal um, understanding? I don't remember that one. Um, that was 2018. I had Beth pull it up for me. Let me go see if I can find it. Well, you know, we actually might have done the wrong thing in that case um, because it wasn't until Ramadan that David pointed out to me that there was a distinction between the residential application and the commercial ac application. So I have Bill on the phone. Can I? So what's the phone number he needs to call to call into the meeting? Who's calling me, which I was kidding about, but <laughs> um, because it seems like he can't. Um, he was just he wants to call into you guys. Right. Um, where is it? I'm looking and I just don't. And I was going to look through the. No, it's just about the meeting packet. I know I used it to get get into here. Um, there's a it must be on the original. Like when I, I went in and looked up all the Zoom information. All right. It's on the agenda. If it's on the agenda, it is. Okay, hold on. Just let me see if I can find it on here for him. Um, Are you talking about the call-in number? Yeah. Sorry, yeah. I was. I actually lost audio, so I wasn't. I couldn't hear anything for a while myself. But um, I just got. I just changed speakers. So yeah, like, I don't. Hey. I believe oh, it, it is, have... I'm sorry, 929 for this region. It's right, it's 929-205-6099. Okay, sounds good. Okay, he's going to try and call in. Now I've lost you. Wait a minute, where are you? I assume he has the meeting ID and the passcode too. Okay. Yeah, because I, I think he was in he's in, but he just has to dial in. I think it's the um, audio that he is having time with a problem with. Except so even if you call in. Bill has a microphone next to his name now. Oh. He's, mute, he's muted himself. But. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He needs no, to be muted. muted. If he's going to use both, he needs to be muted on the on one of them. Sorry, get feedback. Feedback. Okay, he's unmuted. 
Still can't hear him. No. Keep going through your cell phone bill. It'll probably it'll work that way. You know, the funny thing was we could have been doing this from 5.30 to quarter six and got it straightened out. <laughs> yeah, really. Yeah. Hello? So Bill wants me to convey, because he's on the phone. Um, hold on for a minute, because I just have to mute my phone. So he wants to convey that if we put the um, buildings together, then that affects our septic system. We have to put in a $60,000 septic system. Ouch. Uh, so that's why we were trying to do it the other way. Yeah. Uh, I think he's on himself. Is he on himself? Sounded like it, yeah. Bill, I think they can hear you. Try to um, talk. Without the phone. No, with with his cell phone. Hey, uh, can you hear yeah. me? Yeah, put yeah, it you're on. Here on put yourself, Bill, put your cell phone on speaker on speaker so it so it comes out. Oh, that's good. I hung up, Bill, because you it was feeding back on here. I think you're good if you put it on. He's trying to call me back again. <laughs> we had we had you. All right. Well, no. No, Karen, Karen hung up, so we're coming through your phone now. It's, it's coming no, through. No, now it's coming. Now it's coming. Put it close to your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> Good echo. Good echo. <laughs> hey, Bill, also put, mute out your, your computer because there is some feedback coming in. Or, or Beth, can you can you mute him? There you go. Um, um, so first of all, first of all, first of all, first of all, we tried to come. It's coming through my phone. That's how you guys can hear him. It's not from him. Because oh, okay. I, when I hang up on him, it's feeding back because it's coming through my phone because he's calling me on my phone. Oh. Um, yeah. Okay. So if okay. Um, if uh, we need to do the variance thing, we're going to have to re-advertise and uh, continue the hearing, I think, unless somebody has something creative to contribute here. So, can you explain that to me in layman's terms, I guess, just so I understand. So you're talking about residential versus commercial. So this whole building is commercial. We right. have apartments in this building, but they're unoccupied. I haven't had anyone in this building in years. I don't want anyone above the pharmacy. We don't right. use that apartment. Um, right. And we actually expanded into the other apartment that used to be up here um, because of, you know, we need the space. So I'm just curious about that. Is that why we're talking a residential when you're doing the case law? It's based on residential. Is that? Yeah, the the um, the the case the case law says that if we're doing a residential pre-existing non-conforming structure, you know, expand, alter, or whatever, um, that we we don't have to require a variance to increase the nonconformity. So in other words, to change your 
current side yard setback from whatever it is to six inches is a, um, a, a rather drastic increase in nonconformity. Um, so that's so, based on, so that's, it doesn't matter if it's commercial versus residential. Well, yeah, it does because in, 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 if it was only residential, if it was your, you know, your house across the street, um, then, you know, we could do that. We could allow you to build mm -hmm. to within six inches of the side yard setback if, if uh, everybody felt that that was acceptable. Um, but since it's commercial, uh, we have to basically follow, uh, if we want to increase the nonconformity, we have to follow the variance uh, route. So and Dave will find... They will find the case and we'll get you a copy of that so you can, you okay. can okay. have some well, verification. When you, Bill, when you said in, um, a drastic increase, um, yeah. what do you mean by that? The, I, I know it's so six inches within the side yard um, is, is quite a big, uh, or just a little Bill, bit of a I'm setback. Here. But currently right now, it might only be like a few feet. So you're going from like feet to inches, do you think that it's going from more than 10 or 15 feet down to six inches or? Well, I don't, I don't know how to answer that one, Darlene. Uh, um, I don't know what. Increasing the nonconformity by a matter of, I don't know, like a, probably a couple of feet. I don't know. I, did anybody go for a, a drive by or a walk by on this property? Every day. Yeah. <laughs> I went yeah. and I went and looked at it just to like get refamiliar. And there are some markers there that show where the new um where the new bound well the new the building sorry, I can't talk. Where, yeah, where the Bill building put down. Too. Yeah. And I it's think put down. Looks like it's literally a couple of feet from where the um where there already is some structure. Yeah. So oh, what is I, the current, I, I, Karen, I, what is the current setback of the building? I'm sorry, what? What is the current setback of your building? The current setback off the road, what do you mean? From no, the I think side we... yard. So you mean, in, do you need like inches and stuff? Is that what you, you're talking about? I guess I'm confused. So both properties <laughs> sorry say again i'm sorry i'm at work they're like rustling bottles in my ears here <laughs> <laughs> what i'm trying to convey to the rest of the board is what is your current setback from the side yard okay hold on because bill's trying to call me because he measured everything out yeah i think i think it's there's a plot plan in the Six yeah, there is a plot plan in the um, in the thing here. By application, yeah. So, Bill, you said six to eight feet. Yeah. Six feet in the front and eight feet in the back. Okay. It's on the so, plan. It's on the plan if you have the plan. It, yeah, it's on the plot plan that that we that was submitted. So it's marked in red. Was, the um, the yeah. uh, extent of the alterations are marked in red there on the. Yeah. Second, so uh, I, I was just looking at the stair. There's like a stairway um, structure, and yep. the, the additionally, it looks like it's only going a couple of feet from that. As why well, right. that is a current structure. That's true. That's true. Yeah, um, you hear him? He's saying that's true. Yeah, well, we've taken the position in the past that you know if you have us using 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 the measurements that we have now, if you have. Um, if there's six, if there's six feet presently away from the side yard setback, and you wanted to build a structure that was equal to that six feet but didn't exacerbate the nonconformity, you'd be fine. But what you're doing is you're increasing the nonconformity by going from six feet to six inches, and that's that, that answers Darlene's question. There's already a stairway structure out there. How far so is the stairway from? Fire escape for the apartment. That's right. That sticks out five feet, Karen. Yeah, that's yeah, already there. So how far is the Bill, how far is the is the um the I don't know the stilts or whatever, the legs from the stairs from the side yard? Five feet. Five feet. 
So, so it's still going to exact. You're still exacerbating the nonconformity by going five feet to six inches. No, no, you're, you're, you're mixing things up. Would you like I'm me to mix things here? up? <laughs> six. It sticks out five feet right now. It would stick out six and a half feet, so it would be a foot and a half increase. Okay. What I asked you was how far the stairs were from the side yard. So if this, if this end of the oh, stairs. I'm sorry, is, I didn't. So if the right end of the now, stairs they're, they're, is. Yeah. So the end of the stairs is a foot is a, it's two and a half feet. So by going from two and a half feet to six inches, it's still increasing the nonconformity. You're, you're exacerbating sure. the non sure. right. So that's I think that's that's what um I just wanted I to can. bring that into the mix in case it made a difference. What we really haven't dealt with the um the changes. We used to consider any increase in nonconformity like that as a variance. Yeah. And then, right. and then it was like, oh, no, we could do special permits. So we really haven't dealt with much since well, then. Yeah. So the case, no. the case that was on point on that, I can't find it for some, I have too many. So Bill, if you could find it tomorrow, I can do it. I'll, but the case, the case on point, it was, a, it, was a, it was a town on the Cape. And what happened was that the Zoning Board of Appeals required the person, like, like Darlene just said, they required to have a variance of some sort. And it was appealed and it was denied and it was appealed. And was, the court said on a residential, the reason why it only applied to residential is because it, that was the application. It was a residential application. And the court said, you don't need to do that. You can do it by special permit, but they didn't touch whether or not you could also do it by, by commercial. So, but the, so the commercial standard was is still in place as far as I know. That's, and that's what Bill's talking about. Right. I just can't find a case. No, I'm not, you know, I, nobody is saying that this is a big deal, okay? Increasing the side yard uh, or decreasing the side yard setback, okay? But to do this right, we just have to make sure we do the right thing. And, and I, I believe that that includes a variance at this point, as well as the special permit. I found it. Both? <laughs> both? He found it. I found it. I put with, yeah, with, 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 with all my notes on it. Okay. Would you like me to screen share or are you all set? The plot plan. Oh, the plot plan? Yep. Do any of you feel that asking um, town council for a determination on this would help? Are you talking to me? <laughs> are you talking to me? <laughs> <laughs> no, board members. <laughs> The building inspector suggested a uh, special permit to me. Yeah. Right. I think I think asking asking Adam's opinion on this would be quicker, would be a quicker turnaround than reposting for a variance. I mean, but it still yeah. would. It, um, I'm, I I don't know. The case that the case that we're talking about came out April sixteenth of two thousand nineteen. Because how are, are any other jurisdictions handling it like this? You know, can we get everyone on the same page with this change? Um, well, I mean, what? once it once a case is decided, then that that's supposed to prevail all all over the Commonwealth, except Boston. Of course, nothing applies in Boston because it's the BRA or whatever they call themselves nowadays. They don't, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's unbelievable. Anyway. Um, why, why don't we let um, Bill give it, can we want to let Bill give the presentation and just and the, since we're not, you know, we're, we're already here. I don't know if we can yeah. do that with, with the existing con connection issues. You know what? Give me two minutes. I'll be down at Karen's store. I can hear, we can hear you right now, Bill, really good. That was good. Yeah, we can hear you. I think it's, yeah. 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 So I do? think it's coming through my phone. So I'll leave my phone up here. If I put it up, it gets feedback. So I'll, okay. I'm not Just, gonna talk because then I think it adds feedback to his phone. But um, yeah, I can put it up, Bill, if you want, and then. All right, if you can hear me, I'll start. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. So we've we been, we been through, we've been through combining and through, um, uh, yeah, I think it's doing the feedback. Yeah. Um, 
And then my phone's ringing too. I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, why does just everybody take a break and go pee, and I'll be down the store in two minutes. <laughs> okay. okay. Yeah, I'm coming down the store. Okay. Okay. I'm here. <laughs> well, there was a. Um, I was surprised about that um, uh, septic system thing because the the board of health said that there were no issues with the with your present septic system. Um, I don't. I I was trying to remember you know, um, with the septic, because I think if we put the buildings together, even though they're both owned by our trust, our family's trust, um, right. I, I was trying to remember the issue with the septic because um, I, I just can't remember. I mean, this has been ongoing since we tried to do this. This has been ongoing for two and a half years with everything mm -hmm. when COVID hit and stuff. Um, yeah. could, because I have to separate my compounding um, into do two different labs. Um, right. One wow. has to be hazardous and non-hazardous. So our hazardous is upstairs. It has to have certain ventilation, et cetera, which is right. not a problem. But then we're going to move the non-hazardous down here. Um, but this has been ongoing. In the, and um, so it's been a long road. So I'm trying to remember, but also on yeah. top of all the other things that have happened here with booster shots and it's it's crazy it's Karen what um, you said you you mentioned that the upstairs apartments you're not using would have you thought of any, any given any thought to using those apartments as your as your facility I want the so no because I want the um people don't realize we do compounding because you can't see it and so a huge problem we have is that we really need to have it right here because people need to see what it is and understand that we do compounding um, and I need more space down here anyways um, we are jam-packed in here we work and bump into each other and it's it's really um, as my business has expanded I really need the space down here and okay. we have to separate I don't I just don't want to put it up there I I really want to put it down here because I feel it's like out of the way. Yeah. it's a it's huge out of the way. part of that, my advertising and and people yep. understanding what compounding is so um, how about the next question about conveying it creating both lots into one and then just joining the buildings together making them one big we big talked about building. that and like I said I think it has a huge thing to do with the septic and I will have to have Bill explain that because like I said it's been an ongoing thing when we've talked about the buildings and um, things that are grandfathered and things that aren't. And it, it, it's because my pharmacy business is, is grandfathered for some things I know. And then the other building actually, because we redid that whole building, um, that's my medical equipment store. So that yeah. meets everything already because we had to do that when we converted that over. That used to be the tanning booth with, do you remember that? With the, oh, right. with the birds, all the birds in it. <laughs> so yeah, that was, work. that was awesome. Yeah, it was yeah, balloons, then, birds and tanning. Yep. So there may um, also, there may also that be a was not possible. my business though. I just want you to know. So <laughs> I, that was like rented yeah. to someone else. So um, really? there, may, there, may, there may also be a tax consequence if you join one. I don't know what you what your tax structure yeah, is. Yeah, I, I don't, I know, I know Bill and I talked about it. And like I said, it's been ongoing for so long and, and my memory is not the best um, <laughs> with all the stuff that's happened with, yeah. I, I feel like I have information overload sometimes. So, um, no, but he can imagine. explain that when he gets down here. Um, but um, I, I really, really, really just want to put it on this floor. I just really, um, want to have it on this floor because like i said on the second floor no one can see it we don't people don't no, go up into that area that and um yeah, yeah. Well, and then really people are like oh you, so i just feel yeah. like it would really be an added you yeah know. If, i go say if you start if you start getting into the requirements of a um, of a variance yeah it's going to be difficult. I, I think the, if you can, it, the, I don't know what the issues are with joining the buildings together and doing a joint, doing a conveyance so both properties are one. Um, yeah. And that would, it would be one. A lawyer could do that in an afternoon on a, you know, a real yeah, estate. Yeah, because term. I know we talked about that originally when, um, you know, we had talked about doing this construction. But yeah. I know Bill had looked into some of that for me, and I know um, that Bill actually was... called me about this a year or so ago, two years ago. Yeah. Okay. And that was my that was my suggestion <laughs> back then. Yeah, yeah. Says, don't even get it. Don't even come to see us because you know yeah. right. put the buildings together right. and you got and you and you're good to go. 
Yeah. Like, yeah, that was that was my second thought when I saw the plot. I yeah. said, oh, just redraw it. Yeah, but but yeah, yeah. there's there's obviously gonna be complications that I, yeah. I don't yeah, I don't know them. Yeah, and it's, hard, it's hard. some of them might be my, hard to foresee. <laughs> I mean the properties too have all these properties have been owned by my family since my grandparents. So it's you know, yeah. um that's the other interesting thing. I mean they've it's since the early nineteen hundreds. Um mm -hmm. So, um, but I know we explored some of that, and I, I know there were issues with it. So, but the same um, entity, there's not, there's not a, there's not a twist of, it's the exact same entity owns both, both parcels. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yes, yeah. and the the building passed it, and the buildings both ways this way. So it's not. Um, well, any, yeah. anytime you do anything that affects the assessors, you got to watch out. <laughs> Yeah, right. <laughs> they, are, so. they are just unbelievable. I think the merger doctrine only happened on unimproved land. No, it can, it can happen in both, but the way it was, I mean, I don't, I'm not a real estate attorney, but the way my partner explained it to me was that it doesn't, it doesn't work on bringing things together. It works on moving things apart. And it was, he, cause he looked at the application and I was like, that's the first thing I thought of when I got the application. I said, right. doctor, it's one lot. It, it's exactly what I thought we would do anyways. And he goes, yeah. no. <laughs> it's nope. like that. We've, we've only had one one case of that in town where the merger doctrine uh, applied. And, oh, here you know, he is. Hey, hey, here I am. <laughs> he, was, he wasn't kidding. He must have drove 100. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, first of all, um, we looked up everything but 2019 case law and thought in the building department that we could do a special permit. So yeah. um, we definitely need to see that decision. I don't know what the details of the decision are. You know, it's that's just a, that's it's kind just of a residential. It, it was a, it was a residential parcel. Yeah, I know, but still the details, it was residential parcel. Yeah. So how so would it, that affect it, us? Because they un, they they lessened or loosened the uh, restrictions on a variance on a, on a grandfathered grandfathered lot, they loosened it up for a residential, but they didn't discuss anything on the commercial side. Yeah, I'd still I'd still have to read it and you know and, and see all that before. Yeah. Um, sure. You know, uh, I, I'll go into other details, but I I think the important thing is that expediting this because the board of pharmacy obviously shut down during COVID and then when they turn back up, it's like, okay, how come we haven't had this thing done? No, they want, they wanted, like, <laughs> this is, this is imminently about, important. Bill, talk about, talk about the problem with, about um, joining both lots and making one big lot out of it. What's, uh, what's the issue? Rick Metcalf said, that if we put the two lots on here, we have to have a new septic system. Okay, if we tie the two buildings together, you know, and with, which would also mean that you, uh, you were combining the lots. So we looked at that for the last two years and um, we would have had to uh, fire sprinkle the buildings. Oh geez. Because of the size, each building within its own parameter isn't large enough to require that, but then mixed use and the two buildings together, I, I, I estimate between 150 grand and 200 grand to put sprinklers in these two buildings. You'd have to, you'd have to put a new water line in from the road, the current, old three quarter inch water line isn't adequate anymore. It has to be no. four to six inches. So everywhere we've turned, because I think in the beginning, you know, Karen thought, well, this would be a great idea. I could, you know, at least make a passageway between the two stores so that, you know, maybe if you walked into the orthopedic, you know, the bell would ring and someone could run over from the other store. It's, it, you know, that's about, uh, you know, employees and all that. But anyway, everywhere I've turned for the last two years says, keep them as separate. You know, we had, mm -hmm. uh, you have a plot plan from a uh, survey from Ross that shows all that. Yeah. So I apologize not understanding um, Dave Chanel's question, Dave, and, and that's that right now the, 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 the base, the planter on the bottom and the uh, stairs up to top stay five feet out from the building. And um, I guess, you know, there's no question it's more, it's, you know, more non-conforming, but it's like two and a half feet. That's that's that was that was what we were talking about, Bill. Yeah, thanks. Right. So I I mean, 
having, you know, is, I mean, I've been to the fire department. The fire department actually went down and looked at, uh, you know, got some information from the state because obviously in, uh, in, um, in Boston, buildings touch each other. You know, there's all kinds of zero uh, lot yep. lines. Yep. Right. So the, 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 the building inspector said the only thing that I would have to do coming that close in the structure is not only would I have to fire code the inside with perhaps like five eighths fire coated wall board, I'd have to do it mm -hmm. on the outside. I either have to put cement board so that, cause I was, you know, going to be that close. Right. And, um, you know, I mean, I could never, I would never fault, uh, um, the building inspector cause he wouldn't, he wouldn't be up to date on 2019 case law. I'm, you know, that's impossible. Yeah. So, um, all right. So, Dave, I understand. Um, I understand what you're saying, you know, about the variance. But I, I, you know, one of the things is, um, you know, how does it affect? You know, we're talking in pretty good generalizations right now. Right. We're not. You know, I mean, I, you know, that decision is for that case down there, and I understand it could have sweeping, um, you know, effect on different cases, but not all of them. Yeah. Well, I, no, I, I, whatever decision we made on this case, uh, you know, couldn't be uh, applied to other cases. So uh, case I'm not too worried cases. about that. Yeah. Well, that's the whole thing. This is a pretty unique situation. I, I'm looking at it yeah. like, you know, if I want to do this, but my house come to zero and I got three acres of land, that's not feasible. Or and even another business in town, you know, I mean, uh, obviously it's helpful here to that the neighbor is yourself. Yeah. Do we, do we have anybody on the, on the call um, that's in, in support or against this application? Yeah. I don't, you have Hartley, David, and that's it, right? There's nobody. Okay. So let me, let me just give an out for this one. Um, the case that we're talking about came out of the Cape. It was um, Plymouth Superior Court. It's not Middlesex Superior Court. It hasn't gone up to the appeals court. No, they didn't appeal it. They lost, they lost at the appeals court at the, uh, Superior Court. They appealed from a ZBA and it went to the Superior Court. So we could take the position that a Superior Court in Plymouth is not mandatory to be followed in Middlesex. That sounds yeah. reasonable. <laughs> I figured you'd say that. <laughs> do, you, do you want to try to, to get any backing from town council on that or, or what? Well, see, yeah, I guess the the only time this is going to be challenged is if somebody objects to the uh, the issuance of a special permit. Yeah. And then we would lose, you know, based on we probably would lose. I don't know. Um, but if we if we take the position and, and it's a valid position, I've done it in the past in, other, in my own cases, that a superior court decision in one, one, one county is not necessarily mandatory in the other. Kind of yeah, like, it's not oh, the maybe. SJC that made the decision. It's If it was the SJC, we'd be done. If it was the appeals yeah. court, we would be done. <laughs> but it's not. It's a, it's, a, it's a superior court. Okay. So we could we could take that position and just go forward with it the way the way it's been presented and do a special permit and see what happens. Yeah. So the line, I I, I think it's I I got it right here. Um, it's like eight and a half feet down in the back end. It's like six and a half feet in the front end. So. Basically, what we did was we there's a jog in that building. It comes down for eight feet, then it jogs in a foot, and it goes down. And um, we minimized everything that we could because uh, she's required to have uh, over a hundred square feet in the compounding section. And um, then she's also required to have um, uh, what, shots vaccine. Uh, shot. Yeah, I have to. So I I have to have Consult. um, a se separate consulting area for um, the board of pharmacy for me to meet the regulations that they have. Um, do, you, do you remember the cases in Boston where um, there was massive infections because of compounding labs? Oh yeah, you yeah remember that? So compounding. so what the, what they've done is they've taken all the compounding labs and like we have to put inside their negative air pressure so that you know there's no. Um, no escape you know. of contaminants. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. All that yeah. stuff. And um, she, she was yeah, she acted on a criminal. That's that's. They shouldn't have. They shouldn't have changed the, uh, the rules. Mr. Guys. Chairman, I just wanted to remind the board there is a hard stop to this meeting at 7 p.m. Um, okay. 
And if you would like me to screen share, I can go ahead and do that if that helps. No, I remember you saying uh, that. Okay, we're cool. Um, All right, so I guess, Bill, do you feel comfortable in, in going forward and, and um, on a special yeah, permit? I, I don't have a problem with this. Um, my I had a question for Billy. The, the, yeah. uh, on your plot plan, you've got this area outlined in red, and I assume that's the footprint of the compounding lab, and does it extend into the existing structure? Is there 100 square feet I'm looking at in that red red? Um, it's 233 square feet. I just did the oh, you know what you're looking at. You're looking at the second floor. That's the second oh. floor plan. There's okay. actually two. One is what? Hazardous and non hazardous. Yeah, so that, like I was telling you, so that's, we need plans for upstairs too, because we have to do some modifications. We, we don't have there. any. That, that red that line has upstairs nothing has with. nothing to do with the uh, yeah. request for a special permit. Because that's just my already existing oh. lab up there. Okay. Oh, she already has a lab up there, but now she needs two. Okay. So, but, but the red on the plot plan, Billy, the red the red dotted line that's not the that's not the footprint of the new structure. Wait a um, if that's not that, I'm confused. Yeah, I I'm confused. Um, it might I, it might it's probably my car. Because it because it shows the jog that he was talking about. Let me just grab my coat here. Six foot and four inches from the uh, closest to the road. I'm, uh, I probably have the original. I might have taken a copy and dotted that up. The, the, it's, um, so you see, um, it's 39.3 feet long. Right. That's, that shows the red the dotted uh, red line. It has the jog that you talked about. It has a six point six foot four inches from closest yeah, yeah, to the yeah, road. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's yeah. So so it's that's the that's the new that's the dotted the, line that's the is the property line. No, my my no, dotted in, line from front to back is the property line. Uh, Billy, it's in red on our prints. Yeah, it probably is. <laughs> it's not on mine, but it, do I see? Oh, I can share that. Vicky, Vic, Vic, can you share that? I can share it if Hartley lets me uh, screen share. Let's 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 all get let's get on the same page so we can move this thing along. Yeah, can Hartley? Can uh, you please let me screen share, Beth Baxson? Uh, who are you speaking with? Uh, Hart Hartley. He's got he's got to get permission oh, to right. share. Figure out. Video guy. Oh, let me look at. Something. Okay, someone needs to be screen shared. Yeah, Beth Baxson. Z B A N. Okay, hold on one moment, Beth. There. Hold on. Hold on. Right here. Oh, oh. Are you talking? You're talking on the plot plan. Yeah, the plot. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I didn't realize it was on the plot plan. I was looking on my drawings. So what was the question regarding that? The red. So yeah, the red is the is absolutely the right. the um the it's project. The That's okay. the footprint, correct? Yes, absolutely. That's okay. what we, that's what we were asking. Okay. I'm sorry. I apologize. I didn't realize okay. that I had it right here. Yeah, there it is. It's even yeah, in yeah, red. Yeah. yeah, I'm looking at it here as well now. Mm -hmm. Okay. So okay. it was just a question. Is that the footprint? Absolutely. That's the footprint. Okay. And the, so, the closest corner to, to the road where it says six foot four, that's the six yeah. inch this dimension from the side. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's correct. Okay. All right. So if we, I, Bill, I guess if we're if we're good to go forward, based on the uh, Plymouth Superior Court decision not not being applicable, we can um, go through the criteria of a special yep. permit. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. Who's got a copy of that in front of them? I had it, and I I have too many cases open on my screen to find. <laughs> 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 Unbelievable. All right. Let me close that. You're looking for the special permits? I have, I just have yeah, they just the okay. criteria. 145.65. All right, so the, Phil, do you have it? It's on. I see it. I'm, I'm, it's on my screen here. There you yeah. go, right here, yep. I have to put it on the screen. There nice you stuff. go. <laughs> You're okay. Awesome. So um, we need to make findings of fact 
based on these uh, seven uh, criteria. And um, so part A, adequacy of the site in terms of size for the proposed uses. Um, I don't see any issues there. I mean, it's, uh, it's slightly encroaching the side yard setback, but um, nobody can get to that side yard. So, <laughs> you know <laughs> what? The tree falls and there's nobody to hear it. Did it really make a noise? Actually, can you guys, <laughs> after the, uh, if the proposed addition is built, can you still get a car through there? Yes, absolutely. I'm going to have 11 feet. Yeah, that's what it looks like. But she doesn't want off. cars through there, though. That's no, the thing. Yeah. No. <laughs> I don't recommend yeah. it. I, put up, I actually try and block it because very once in a while we'll have someone who's going to take someone out on the front sidewalk who goes flying yeah. through there. Ouch. I know because they, they, I only have that happen occasionally because I do put cones up. Yeah. And we usually right. have a delivery van so, in there. Um, so item B is the suitability of the site for the proposed use. Uh, there's no issues there. It's consonant with the present use. C, impact on traffic flow and safety. Um, I don't see any issues there. Um, stopping, the, like Darren was saying, stopping wow. that is an advantage. <laughs> um, item D, uh, impact on neighborhood visual character, including views and vistas. Um, I don't know if anybody's going to notice this change to the structure because <laughs> the average speed on main street has got to be <laughs> 35 40 miles an hour so to be able to see between those buildings you're uh, not going to be driving safely um adequacy of method of sewage disposal source of water and drainage uh, i don't see any impact there and we do have a a um opinion from the Board of Health that uh, the present sewage disposal system is adequate. Um, item F, adequacy of utilities and other public services. Um, don't see any change there. There isn't, those will all come from within the structure. Yeah. G, impact on ground and surface water quality and other environmental and natural resource considerations. <clears throat> I can't. Um, I can't think of any. It's um, it's paved now where the structure is going to be, so it, it's the same. So it's an impervious service that you're. Uh, There's a, the roof is like relatively flat. We have to rebuild the the uh, stairway as a mean of egress mm -hmm. on top of the addition but it's impervious now down below and it's impervious same amount i'm sorry i think that was just excess that. noise that was random yeah. yeah i think it was just okay. oh. all right so is there is there a uh, a motion uh, Bill, on this section, did um, we address the um, the mandatory referrals yet? Did we read those into the record? Um, I thank read you. them, but I didn't read them into the record. Let yes, me. Yes, thank um, you. Yep. There's a I summary in there. There's a summary for everyone's comments. Thank you, darling. I don't know um, how to get out of this screen. Um, I can I can read them. Oh, there, there you go. go. You're out of it. Thanks. Okay. So, yeah, here we go. Yes. Uh, this is so awkward. Okay, so it's not this one. It's the public hearing. Uh, Bill, do you want, do you want me to read them? I have right here. All right, yes. go for it. So the planning board has no comment. Conservation Commission says site not within our jurisdictional area. Okay. Instead of saying no comment, that's what they have to say. Yeah. Hallelujah. Water department. 
I don't, they don't have anything checked off, but I would say, I would take that to assume it's no comment. Um, on the building commissioner comments, I have no concerns with the project other than its construction. The code requires specific hour ratings when a property is less than five feet from the lot line. That said, this will be an improvement compared to what already exists in terms of construction. Compounding is custom mixing of pharmaceuticals to make medicine. Owners have already been per performing this service for some time now. There is typically no waste generated. The company only orders what is needed. It, if it is waste, it will be disposed of in accordance with the law. Nothing is discharged to the septic system. That was from the building inspector. Um, who is this? Board of Selectmen. No comment, however, they did hint <laughs> they did hint that they supported a small business in town. And that's it. And, and there was uh, a letter. There is one letter more letter. Excuse there's me. There's one more letter from uh, I, received. Beth, Beth, you didn't let me finish. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> there is. <laughs> and then he's not, a, that's not a mandatory, that's not a mandatory referral, but there was a letter of support from Gary Shepard saying that he, he, uh, he supports small business. <laughs> he comes after the, the referrals get Beth. <laughs> and then there's the Board of Health comment. I didn't see that. Not the... I sent you an updated uh, clerk summary. Uh -huh. uh, uh, why don't you read that one, Beth? I don't see that one. Okay. The proposed um, changes do not constitute an increase in flow per Title V, and the proposed addition does not encroach on any system components. The Board of Health does not have any issue with the proposed addition. Signed, Rick Metcalf. All right. I was going to make you increase right. your subject. Okay. Um, Boy, you don't, you don't get that very often. With that, then, um, I move that in view of the particular characteristics of this site, that the proposed use will not have adverse effects, which overbalance its beneficial effects on either the neighborhood or the town. Second. Okay, polling the members. Darlene. Yes. David Chanel. Yes. Sean Pearson. Yes. Vicki Janicki. Yes. And I'll vote yes, Bill Cadigan. Motion carries. So now going to the. Um, Dave, do you have the um, the, the, the record in, on, in front of you? I don't have it to make a motion. Um, um, I was going to look at the application in a second. Where is it? See who finds it first? That's the thing with we usually have our black books. We just flip open the pages to the to the spots, but we don't you know. have that. <laughs> so, so Billy, you took this out on you took this up permit out yourself, not on the name of the McNabs, right? Uh, yeah. 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 Right, yeah. I'll make a motion that we approve the um, the the application of William G. Schultz on behalf of the McNab Family Trust for the con for the construction of a compounding lab. Um, um, you know, in, in conformance with the uh, submitted plans and, and uh, drawings. Cool. Is there a second? Uh, second. Second. Okay, polling the members. Darlene. Yes. Dave Chanel. Yes. Sean Pearson. Yes. Vicki Janicki. Yes. And I'll vote yes as well, Bill Cadigan. The motion carries. May I request uh, another motion, please, Chair, uh, Chairman Cadigan? Yeah, I, I make yes. a motion that we that we authorize the chairman to sign the the um, the, perm, <laughs> the, um, the decision on behalf of all of the board members. Is there a second? Second. second. <laughs> Polling the members, Darlene. Dave Chanel. Yes. Sean Pearson. I didn't yes. hear anything. Oh, great. Victoria. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and I'll vote yes as well. So the motion carries. All right. I'm authorized to, to sign the. Um, yeah. The sorry, decision. Beth. I missed. I didn't do that first. Beth, sorry about that. That's so okay. the, uh, the procedure here is uh, we have 14 days to file the decision. You'll get a copy of it in the mail with the town clerk stamp showing the date of filing. Uh, there's a 20 day appeal period. Um, so after the appeal period has passed, you can get a letter from the town clerk certifying that no appeals have been filed. 
because they have to go through, they have to be filed with her as well with the court. And um, then you have to record the decision in the um, uh, Middlesex South Registry of Deeds and provide evidence to the building inspector that you've done that. Yeah. And uh, these days they charge so much you get your you get your number very quickly. <laughs> so so uh, you should be good to go within 20 days to get your billing permit uh, after the uh, decision is filed. Thank you. Thank you. No problem. All right. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. Anybody Thanks. else uh, have anything for tonight? We're all set. Thank you very much. You bet. Thank you. Hey, Bill, don't forget to hang up your phone on at your house. We can still see the inside of the room. <laughs> I brought it with me. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, so our next, so our next meeting we have it's in January for the um for that continuation. I believe yes. so. Yes. Yes, January twelfth, your two uh, continuation of a public hearing, and you have another application uh, before you for seventy eight Main Street, and that will be the second hearing of the night. That's at six fifteen. Long one. Yeah. And, and what's going on there? Do we know? Uh, did, I thought I sent that out to you already. Didn't you I? got that a couple oh. days ago. Yeah. You mean yeah. I don't remember read my mail? Yeah. It's a, it's a dog grooming business. <laughs> yeah. So oh, a dog gotta, grooming business? Look uh, in your mail. <laughs> I yeah. will. Okay. Excellent. Sounds good. Are you guys going to have a motion to adjourn? Or? <laughs> motion, motion to adjourn. All right. Second. Second. I have to poll the members again. Eileen. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Dave Chanel. Yes. Sean Pearson. Yes. Vicky Janicki. <laughs> yes. And I'll vote yes. Okay. <laughs> Meeting's over. Thank you very much. Thank folks. you. Hey, Merry Christmas, everybody. Happy yeah, really. Happy holidays, everyone. Enjoy your holidays. Merry right. Christmas, happy.